A Valley man is facing felony DUI charges nearly a month after police say he caused a fatal crash. The charges were filed later than normal because of a delay on the man's blood work. Fox 5's Cassie Milner is live where that crash happened near Aliante Parkway in Elkhorn. That's right. Police say that the suspect, Anthony Penison, blew past this stop sign and hit and killed a 72 year old man. Penison was taken into custody but didn't get charged until today. The cause was a delay in blood work, which meant that Penison could originally walk free. It was the ninth fatal crash for North Las Vegas. Family of 72 year old Arthur Boyd Hobbs says he was on his way to get breakfast with friends when he was killed by an impaired driver. Police identified 46-year-old Anthony Penniston as that driver. But weeks passed and Penniston never got officially charged for the death. The reason? Blood work. The district attorney has to have all the evidence uh, before filing a case. David Roger is the former district attorney for Clark County. He says the blood results are critical for the life of a DUI case. A defendant wants charged it is entitled to a preliminary hearing within 15 days and so if the district attorney has charged the case but is not ready to uh, present all the evidence at a preliminary hearing uh, the case will likely be dismissed. North Las Vegas police saying the hang-up was caused by a delay in processing the blood work, but that it expedited the process. Typically, DUI cases that result in a death are fast-tracked so drivers can be charged. Testing blood takes time, though. Your average misdemeanor DUI case takes months to get the, uh, the blood results back because the labs are just so backlogged. Despite the delay, Roger says the evidence should hold up in court. Because it, it took, you know, longer to get the test results, that doesn't mean that the test is invalid. Clark County DA Steve Wolfson released a statement on Friday saying his office received the blood work. Penniston is charged with felony DUI resulting in death and reckless driving. Wolfson said he would be cracking down on DUI drivers. He delivered this message just three days before the crash. I want you to listen to my words carefully. The damage you cause to families, other families and yourself and your own, isn't worth it. The message isn't getting out. And I reached out to the North Las Vegas Police Department to clarify what exactly caused that delay when they were asking the lab to expedite the process. So far, I have not heard back. Reporting live near Elkhorn and Eliante Parkway, Cassie Mulnerick, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.